Hi everyone, it's Dr. Cooper here. I wanted to create a quick video to discuss breast implants. So I'll start off by talking about the different types. So there's two different forms. There's silicone, which I have here. It's my gummy bear type of technology. It feels um, more natural out of the two types of uh, implants that we have. I'll show the other one in a second. But essentially, if you were to cut this in half uh, and squeeze it, it has like that gummy bear uh, gel on the inside. Um, if you squeeze it, it kind of just goes back in, into the shell. It holds its form pretty well. Um, alternatively, you have a saline implant, which is essentially a silicone shell, but inside it's filled with salt water or saline. Uh, this one has a little air bubble in it. At the time of surgery, we take um, all the air out of it so you don't hear as much sloshing with the silicone or sorry, the saline implant. Um, but this one feels a little bit more firm. It's essentially like a water balloon, um, which is why a lot of women feel that the silicone implants feel a little bit more natural than the saline. So there's um, a couple places where you can place breast implants. You can either uh, place it above or below your pectoralis muscle, which is your chest muscle. And there's different reasons as to why you would want to place that implant either above or below your muscle. Um, a lot of it ends up being patient preference. But um, for example, if someone is uh, very active with uh, arm activity, so either a rower or they do a lot of weightlifting, um, sometimes they might wanna choose to have the implant sitting above the muscle so that that muscle isn't contracting over that implant because sometimes that can be uncomfortable. Um, but some women might want to have the implant placed underneath the muscle, which is probably the most common placement for breast implants. Um, because that also allows extra camouflage of the implant edges because now you have that muscle um, adding more soft tissue over the implant which can aid in camouflage. So it ends up just being a discussion with your surgeon and patient preference on where you place that implant. So another important thing about implants is that they are not lifetime devices. So the FDA kind of says about a 10 year shelf life of, of breast implants, but there are patients that have implants in for a lot longer than that without any issues. So my philosophy is if you're not having issues with your implants, then I just leave them be. And until uh, there's an indication to have them removed, then we will go and remove those implants. Now, the difference between monitoring a saline versus a silicone is, like I mentioned, with a silicone, it has that gummy bear technology. So if it were to rupture or, or tear, you can't tell on physical exam that the implant has ruptured. So the FDA now recommends that after you have a silicone implant placed, five to six years after you have it placed, you should get a ultrasound of the implant to make sure that it looks like it's intact. And if everything looks fine, then you should get repeat ultrasounds every two to three years thereafter. And if there's any question on the imaging, then you might need a uh, MRI to confirm. But if there is evidence that there's a rupture, then you know to go to your surgeon and tell them that you need to have them replaced. Now, alternatively, a sil or saline implant is, like I said, a water balloon. So if this ruptures, it essentially pops like a water balloon. All the saline water uh, goes out. It's salt water, so it's not toxic to the body. The body just reabsorbs it. But your breast will essentially deflate like a water balloon. So you know immediately when your implant has ruptured. So if that were to happen, again, you just know to go to your surgeon and say that your implant has ruptured and you need to have it replaced. So if you guys have any other questions about breast implants, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer your questions. And if there are any other topics that you guys are interested in, again, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to make videos about that. All right, guys, take care.